first uh, Thanksgiving service here uh, in Sanctuary Forest. We have so many things to be thankful for, Tony. Um, just by your grace that we were able to um, have this place, Father, and just uh, and the brothers and sisters to just uh, um, for their hard work to just have this place ready for this uh, service, Father, and. Uh, and help us to just always be thankful for everything that you've given us, and not and not um, and, and not think about those things that we don't have, Father. And um, just be with the brothers and sisters here, Father, um, somewhere uh, uh, far away from home, Father. Just be with them through this time, and help us as uh, as your brothers and sisters in Christ to just uh, um, make this place their home during their stay here, Father. And just, uh, be, and thank you so much for keeping the NFC kids safe and a healthy father. And just be with Pastor and give this message um, about um, uh, for today, Father. And just be with them and just help us to be um, truly touched by, um, by your words through him, Father. And just, uh, just be with us through this time of uh, service and uh, just bless this time. Pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Can anyone stand up to recycle a poplar tree? <laughs> I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son of the Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under conscious Father, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He is gathered into heaven, heaven and he is on the right hand of God, the Father of our mighty, from then he shall come to judge the free and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Church, the communion of faith, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body of body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated. There's certain uh, verse. Good afternoon. Sorry, I forgot to put this. Because we have so many things to be thankful to God. So, today, we want to give thanks to God and glory to Him. Because of His grace and His love, we are here. So, you know, think about how to express your thanks to God this Thanksgiving. So I want to just look back what the Bible says about Thanksgiving. I'll try. Okay. What happened? <laughs> Where? There you go. Okay. One more. <laughs> yeah, number one. No, no, number one. <clears throat> Go back. Yeah. By singing to him. You know, about, it's not close to 300, but when the pilgrims landed on this uh, country, they worshipped God. But, they didn't have anything in their possession. That's why they found a turkey everywhere, wild turkey. That's why it has been tradition. On Thanksgiving Day, we serve turkeys. And by the help of Native Americans, how to preserve dry food. And they first thing they did after the harvest, they just built the sanctuary and then they gave thanks to God by singing to him. So where did they learn? They learned from the Bible. So Psalm 147, well there, there are a lot of Bible scriptures but I just picked one. Singing out your thanks to the Lord. Sing praise to our God with the heart. It's a long time ago but nowadays we use guitar, drum, and the keyboards, etc. 
So we need to make ourselves as a habit to sing and praise. So I believe that as individuals you have a favorite songs, right? What is your favorite songs to praise? Mine is, I will run to you. That is my favorite one. To the words of truth, forever, ever I praise. See, when you sing, first of all, Satan cannot attack you. So, praising is the best weapon for the spiritual warfare. So, whenever you have something in your heart that is burdening or bothers you, just praise and sing. Sometimes I sing hip-hop too. <laughs> I just move my body. <laughs> Why? That's what David did. After he brought the Ark of God from Philistines and entering into the Jerusalem, he just danced. How did he dance? Anyone remember? Huh? His underwear was revealed, right? <laughs> so when I looked at the Bible, he wore Calvin Klein. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but his wife just scolded him. How could you do that in front of the eyes of the Lord? So that much he was so into the Lord. So that's what we should do. It doesn't matter what other people think about you and say about you. My heart is unto God. That's the praising. So when you do that, there is no dark spirit. They cannot come. Because whenever we sing and praise, there are so many angels around there. Because as we all know, the Revelation chapter 4, when we get to heaven, what do we do? Only thing we do is worshiping God, praising. There is none, sorrow, anxiety, tears, nothing in heaven. Only thing is peace. In there, we sing and we worship with many, many saints and angels together. So can you imagine that? So in the course of daily lives, we sing and angels will come and lift you up, your hearts. Remove all the sadness, anxieties, burdens, bitterness negativities, whatever it is in our hearts, they're going to come and remove the replace with peace and love. The way we can sense that God is with us. Hallelujah. So whenever you read the Psalm, book of Psalms, so many scriptures. You know, in David, as you know, he was in deep trouble, but he praised and he sang. You know, in, in the New Testament, Paul, right, Apostle Paul, when he was in the dungeon, he said, rejoice. How can we rejoice when we're in sufferings and hardship? But because God is with us, by the Spirit, by His Spirit, we sense that and we know we are in His presence when we sing. 